Good morning, please sit down. Thank you. Uh, my name is Abraham Katsir and I'm the chair of this uh, meeting and I welcome all of you, those who participated in the uh, part yesterday and those who are sort of newcomers. I welcome all of you and I welcome, especially welcome uh, guests from the United States and Europe and other countries who made a long trip uh, to Israel. And I'd, and I'd like first to thank the organizing committee uh, for organizing uh, this meeting. We have uh, 13 sessions and uh, more than 100 lectures, and uh, these are friends who are all volunteered uh, to come and participate. So I think that uh, you should clap your hands and thank the organizing committee for their major uh, work. Thank you. Now, uh, Two years ago, we gave awards to four scientists who were among the pioneers of optics, uh, in research in optics in academia in uh, Israel. And this year, we decided that uh, awards should be given to people who, also scientists, uh, who uh, made a contribution to the optics industry in Israel. And for those of you who did not attend yesterday's talk, let me just mention very briefly that it's estimated that in Israel there are more than 7,000 people who work in uh, optics and electro-optics. There are 250 <coughs> companies, and um, it's estimated that the sales of these companies are roughly $4 billion a year. So Israel is a, is a tiny country, but the contribution in optics and electro-optics is large. And we thought that we should give awards to some of the pioneers in this area. So we had a sub-committee uh, that selected two distinguished uh, people. And Itamar Shoshan, a member of uh, our organizing committee, will introduce the people. On behalf I would like first to invite uh, Dr. Shlomo Barak. <laughs> Dr. Barak joined ELOP in 1971 and initiated there the development of laser products and systems. Later, he managed the R&D activities at ELOP. Today, there are many electro-optics companies in Israel which employs physicists, optical designers, engineers, and technicians who made their first steps in electro-optics at ELOP under the professional leading of Dr. Barak. In the 80s, Dr. Barak founded Optrotech, which became later a part of Orbotech today, and founded the area of optical testing in the microelectronics industry in Israel. ELOP in the defense area and Orbotech in industrial testing are today leading companies in the world. For all this, the Oasis Industrial Award is awarded to Dr. Shlomo Barak. אם תתעמקו בשאלה מה זה אור, ואחרי הכל בזה עסקינן, אז אתם תבינו גם מה זה חומר. אם תתעמקו בנוסף לכך בשאלה מה זה חושך, אז בעצם אתם תבינו את הכל. אתם תרמתם לי את זה, ואני תרמתי לכם רמז. <laughs> תודה. <laughs> I have now the honor to invite also Dr. Shimon Eckhoiz. Dr. Eckhoiz, after years of activity at Rafael and in the United States, founded ESC Medical, who developed innovative medical treatments using intense pulsed light sources. 
After the acquisition of laser industries, ESC, now Lumenis, became the world leading supplier of lasers and light sources for medical and cosmetic treatments. Later, Shimon Echois founded Cineron Medical and was involved in the foundation of many, many other high-tech companies in the fields of optics and biomedicine, nanocyte, tulip medical, or science, venture, and many others. For all this, the Oasis Industrial Award is awarded to Dr. Shimon Echois. Well, I, uh, since Shlomo said something in uh, Hebrew, I'll say it in English, but I cannot go as deep as Shlomo does. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, I uh, am really pleased and honored to, uh, to be here and uh, accept this award, which, uh, in my mind, is really uh, a symbol for, as, as you pointed out, for thousands of engineers and physicists in Israel that uh, built up this industry. And I have the luxury of being old enough so I can tell you that uh, each time I, I uh, get a little bit of a view of what is being done in Israel in these areas, I'm uh, amazed. Uh, of course, I'm in one niche of it, which is uh, the medical applications. Although I touch some other things here and there, in the, in the good old days of optical communication. Uh, and I'm an ex extremely proud to be part of this uh, community of very modest and hardworking people that have a big impact on our industry, on our economy in Israel, and the future of this country, and, uh, and the rest of the world. One last remark I would mention is actually, my wife told me this morning, you have to take a tie and I said, you know, these guys are physicists and uh, they will not come with ties. But when we entered, I noticed that there are some ties around, so I quickly put my, my on as well. <laughs> so I want to uh, thank the organizing committee and uh, each and every one of you for this honor. Thank you very much. Okay, before introducing Professor Russell, there is one comment that I forgot to make yesterday. During lunch break, Professor Hench and I went uh, to have uh, uh, to the food stalls at the back of the uh, place where there are exhibits, and we accidentally bumped into a, a group of uh, youngsters, girls and boys, and they have a booth downstairs. They are in the high school in uh, Herzliya, not far from here. There are 16, 17 year uh, old kids, and they have projects. They, they show projects. And uh, I think both Professor Hench and I were impressed both by the high quality of the project that they had, mostly in electronics, but also they are all young and eager people with fire in their eyes, and they did not know who Professor Hench was or who I was. They just wanted to show what they uh, did, and I highly recommend. That's the future of Israel, uh, these young kids. So everyone who goes to the exhibits, I highly recommend to go and see these uh, youngsters. <coughs> now, uh, let me, uh, in a way of uh, introduction, let me say that it all started with the great scientist Sir William Strutt, also known as the third baron, Lord Rayleigh. And Lord Rayleigh uh, was uh, highly interested in the propagation of waves in periodic structures. In 1987, he started a study of one-dimensional periodic multi-layer structures, and he even started reflection, uh, studied reflection from crystals or whatever, uh, and he found stop bands, which uh, we today are highly interested in. And uh, he, um, Lord Rayleigh, I think, uh, uh, made many contributions, but one of them is the periodic structures that we study today. Um, 100 years later, uh, two scientists, one of them, uh, Yablonovich, uh, started also an investigation of uh, propagation of light in periodic structures and what he called photonic crystals. 
and he, uh, Eli Oblonovich, gave 